Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man progress video. Uh, it's been ages since I've managed to get one out, so hopefully this will have been worth the wait. I've um, got a couple of things I wanted to talk about at the end of the video, so um, yeah, please stick around because I need a bit of input on a couple of things. But yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Well, uh, it looks like I'm going to be heading to Zami God Wars dungeon for the first time. Um, I've killed one um, Krill just for the Fremenic Elite Diary. But um, yeah, I've got the Dragon War Hammer. Let's see if we can get a spear. Hey, there we go. First drop. And it is the Steam Battle Staff. I don't know if that's particularly useful for me for anything. But um, yeah, nice to get a, a drop on the 14th KC. No, I don't want another one of those. I'm pretty sure they are completely useless. Um, there's only like a handful of spells that use uh, fire and water runes at the same time. So that's a bit of a shame, but yeah, another drop, 71 KC, all going very well. There we go, that is the Zami Spear. Quite happy to get that fairly early on and that's gonna be useful for a few things. Um, God Wars is going really well, to be honest. Um, it's been a while since I've done God Wars because I never really did it much on my main account. So enjoying this method. Um, only downside is it does use a lot of death runes um, for using the Blood Barrage, which isn't great, but um, I'll definitely keep coming back because I want to get the uh, Staff of the Dead and then the Zami Hilt for the Master Clue item and I guess another Zami Spear for when I do Corp. Alright, well that is the task complete. Um, pretty successful I have to say, picking up the, uh, the Zamorakian Spear. I'll need to go ahead and uh, get that turned into a Hasta and um, pick up some more death runes because I'm down to 2.5k and, and that's literally all I have, so yeah. Need to spend some money buying some more of those, I think. All right, so picked up a hard clue and an elite clue from that Sammy task. Let's see what we can get. We'll start with the hard. Yeah, standard reward there and a very standard reward there as well. Just been doing a little bit of agility alking and coming in with 81. Um, pretty decent level. The shortcut should be quite useful for Curas tasks. Um, I actually wanted to get a little bit more cash because I am running low on death runes. So I need to purchase some of those and I'm actually thinking to train a little bit of Herb Lore because my stack of Super Combats is getting pretty low. So it makes sense just to get those two extra levels and uh, don't have to use any boost to make them. Alright, so these are the potions I'm going to be making for 90 Herb Lore. Let's see how much this ends up costing. Oh, that's actually not too much at all. Um, I pretty much got all of the secondaries apart from the eggs for the super restores, but everything else I've got for these ones, so hopefully it won't take too long. There we go, that is 89 herb loss, so one more left to go. Forgotten how fast this skill is, to be honest, it's like 300k plus an hour with um, decent potions, so it's going by very quickly. And uh, how much XP to go? Yeah, so less than two hours, which is pretty decent. And there we go, that is 90, so super combats and uh, overloads as well in raids, which will be pretty handy. So I've got quite a lot of Torstals. I'm not going to turn all of those into super combats. I'll probably do three or 400. I think that'll be plenty to be getting on with. Um, but yeah, nice that we don't have to boost for those anymore. That is a very big Greater Demon task. So I think that'll be 125 uh, Krill kills if I decided to do all of that at God Wars Dungeon. Still looking for the Staff of the Dead and the Zamorak Hilt. So um, yeah, I don't know if I'll do the entire task there, but I'll definitely do some kills. First attack level in a while, that is 94 and 121 combat as well. Hey, there we go. That is the first God Sword Shard number three. Um, I think they're pretty rare from the minions. Um, I know for a specific shard it's like 1 in 1,500, so I'm guessing any shard is like 1 in 500. Um, but that's pretty cool. And um, yeah, just two more pieces and then we'll have the blade. Hey, there we go. That is the second Zamorakian spear. So that's really all I need in terms of those because I can keep one as a spear for any eventual corp kills and then obviously turn one into a Hasta. So that's pretty nice to get. Been a while to get a farming level, but that is 95. Four left to go until 99. Not too sure um, how I'm going to be getting those seeds now that I'm pretty much finished with Zora for the time being. I guess I'll just need to keep up with the uh, birdhouse runs and um, yeah, the odd seed here and there from PVM, I guess. 
Alright, there we go, that is the new quest done. I have made friends with my arms, so I think uh, it would probably be worth me setting up the uh, teleport portal in my house for Troll Stronghold. That would be nice for doing God Wars. And yeah, um, let's see what these new fire pits can do. Nice to have a new herb patch as well. So yeah, I'll just get my head around these rewards and uh, probably head back and finish up the... Uh, the Zamorak task. Um, that's probably pretty rare. A shield left half um, at Zamorak. Fair enough. Well, in the end, decided to just do the rest of that Greater Demon task um, on the regular ones because it was taking a while, but that is 95 Slayer, so four left to go until 99. All right, got a hard clue. What can we get? Zami Page. Not too bad. 500k. I've been waiting for a task of cow fight for ages. I'm definitely going to go and do some KQ. I don't know if I'll do the whole task again because it probably will take a while, but I still need to get the cow fight queen head for the elite diary. Um, if I do get it, I think I have 84 prayer banked, so I'll probably go for 85 for the diary and then train the uh, thieving up to 91 because that'll be a useful shortcut to have. And KQ is pretty good for. Um, Certain supplies, um, trying to think what it is good for potato cactus and uh, wines of Sammy. So, uh, yeah, let's go and give this a go. Well, that didn't take long at all. That is uh, the cow fight queen head on kill number 35. Um, so, as I mentioned, I think I have 84 prayer banked. Um, I'm not too sure because obviously I can now use the wilderness altar, and um, there's the, the chance at saving bones, which is going to help a lot actually um, and then I will need to get 91 thieving as well which I'll probably do at pyramid plunder because I want at least two pharaoh scepters and if I need to well if I want to use the shortcut I'm going to have to either train my agility or use uh, summer pies which I don't think I have many I've got I've got a fair amount so if I use one per kill that would last me around 200 kills so well it's good to get that early on but it means I can't really carry on with this if I want to be efficient so I'll go and train a bit of prayer now I think and uh, yeah start working on the thieving as well. Alright so I've done a little bit of a calculated look at what sort of XP I can expect and I think I'm actually closer to 85 than I previously thought so if I'm correct in thinking that essentially if I just times the amount of bones I've got by 1.5 that's roughly what um, sort of XP I'll be able to get at the Wildy Altar. Um, so if I use all of these apart from the big bones and all my heads and I don't get PK too much and lose too many bones then that's going to leave me about 20k off 85 prayer which is pretty good so um, hopefully that's right um, but otherwise I can just kill a few blue dragons and uh, now that I've got access to the myth skill that shouldn't take too long so yeah I'll start working on that and uh, the thieving as well. All right, got a hard clue. What can we get? Another Zami page. I think that's back to back. Decent value as well. There we go. That is 83 prayer, so two left to go. And that is 84. And there we go. That is 85 prayer, so just need to uh, do the thieving now, 80 to 91. And uh, that will be all of the requirements for the Elite Desert Diary, which is quite exciting. And unfortunately that is it for today's episode, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I'm going to pick up in the next episode finishing up the requirements for the Elite Diary, uh, Elite Desert Diary. So it is thieving and I realise as well I do need to get um, three fletching levels so that I can boost um, to make Dragon Darts which is one of the tasks for the Elite Diary. Um, I've got that banked, I'll probably end up uh, doing some darts and then using some of these maple logs. Um, just to finish that level up so hopefully that won't take too long I think the thieving is probably going to be the longest bit of that um, yeah so there are two things I wanted to quickly get some advice on the first is um, boss slayer I don't know if um, there are any iron men that watch the videos and if they've got any advice on whether boss slayer is worth doing because um, I've not actually killed any of the wilderness bosses yet and I feel like it might be a good way of getting into that um, but I don't really know how frequent the tasks are if it's, it's something worth picking up and the second thing is raids I really want to get into raids I've never done it before so if there's anybody that would be interested in taking me along or sort of teaching me the ropes um, my private's on please send me a message um, very interested in starting to pick up some of those rewards the prayers 
some of the items as well so um, I like to think that I've got decent gear and stats I've got the the dragon war hammer and the blowpipe now so uh, full elite void and everything so I think I've got all the basics um, the hasta as well um, but yeah hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video hopefully the next one won't take as long to get out and um, hopefully see you then take care